Acts chapter 15, the Council of Jerusalem. Many times, Sunday Christians who believe the law of Moses was done away with will point to Acts chapter 15 to prove it. So let's take a look at Acts 15, the Council of Jerusalem, to see what it's all about. Acts chapter 15, verse 1. And certain men came down from Judea and taught the brethren, Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. These certain men were Pharisees who accepted Yeshua as Messiah, but also taught the new Gentile believers in Yeshua that they aren't saved yet until they convert fully to becoming Jews, thus telling the Gentile believers in Yeshua they need to be circumcised, become Jewish, in order to be saved by Yeshua. Verse 5. But some of the sect of the Pharisees who believed in Yeshua rose up saying, It is necessary to circumcise them to become Jewish and to command them to keep the law of Moses. The disciples, which included Peter, came together and discussed how to respond to these Pharisees. Acts chapter 15, 6 through 9. Now the apostles and elders came together to consider this matter. And when they had been much dispute, Peter rose up and said to them, Men and brethren, you know that a good while ago Elohim chose among us that by my mouth the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. So Elohim, who knows the heart, acknowledged them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us, and made no distinction between us and them purifying their hearts by faith. Peter rose up and told these Pharisees who accepted Yeshua, but taught that you need to convert to Judaism to be saved, that Yahweh Elohim makes no distinction between us, the Jews, and them, the non-Jews. Thus, they are already saved before converting to Judaism and not being circumcised. Acts 15, verse 10 and 11. Now therefore, why do you test Elohim by putting a yoke on the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Master Yeshua Messiah, we shall be saved in the same manner as they. The yoke on the neck is not keeping the Sabbath or keeping Torah in general. The yoke that's being discussed is to convert to Judaism through years of training and teachings, in order to be saved. This is key and so important to understand in, in order to understand Acts chapter 15, the Council of Jerusalem. Acts chapter 15, 19 through 21. Therefore I judge that we should not trouble those from among the Gentiles who are turning to Elohim, but that we write to them to abstain from things polluted by idols from sexual immorality, from things strangled, and from blood. Here it is, verse 21. For Moses has had throughout many generations those who preach him in every city, being read, that is the Torah, in the synagogues every Sabbath. Peter says to these fellow brothers in Yeshua, after much debate and discussion, Do not trouble the Gentiles who come from the pagan nations. If they accept Yeshua as Messiah and repent from sin, like pagan worship, idol worship, strangling animals and drinking their blood, then they are pure enough to enter our synagogues every Sabbath day to hear and learn the rest of the law of Moses. And when enough time goes by and they are spiritually mature enough, they will be circumcised. So to conclude, the answer is no. Acts chapter 15, the Council of Jerusalem does not do away with the law of Moses, but simply clarifies that the moment of salvation occurs before you're circumcised, and that one does not need to be Jewish or circumcised to be saved, and in order to be the body of Messiah. I highly recommend watching a video from the channel called Alternate Media with Brad and Seamus on this topic. I will leave a link 
in the description below. Thank you and shalom.